well, well. My, how the turns have tabled. The turns have tabled. This castle was so good. And this show is so sick. It's sick what they do to them. It's sick what it does to us. We have been talking about this show since we opened our eyes this morning on Discord. And we have not been able to be quiet until the end. Actually, I'm pretty sure they're still talking right now by the time I'm filming this video. This show has crack in it. It has crack, just like the crack in Ty's face. Oh, <laughs> it's too good. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie. For those who don't know me, reviewing Love Island season 10, episode 27. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. All right, so the episode jumps straight into the recoupling and we have Sammy who's going first. His reasoning for recoupling is because he believes that Jess is going to do stuff in Casa, so he might as well explore too. The feelings before Jess left were, they, they were quite strong, obviously, but, um... Castle Moor arrived, so I feel like it's only only fair to, to give her a proper shot and um, see see if things change. I didn't really know what he was going to do, to be honest, because he doesn't really give much away, but now I'm happy. One thing we know about Sammy, actually two things we know about Sammy. The first thing is that his connection with Jess was out of convenience. We know that he was managing her, and once he realized that she was taking advantage of his management, he got he got frustrated. And he was like, well, how dare you have standards when I'm the one lowering mine to be with you? So now he's with another woman, and the second thing we know about him is that he loves when a woman is sick over him. Amber? Everybody gets their real names now. Amber? I'm gonna need you to be all the way for real. I know you're 19 and maybe you can't see the things about Sammy that we have seen. And we are privy to see the whole picture because it is a television show. However, the man is sleazy and slimy and I promise you, he's not the one. Do not be sick over him. You better stand the hell up as soon as you figure out what you're gonna do in this villa because I know this is your only ticket to get it, okay? Ain't nobody else who's gonna bring you. But yeah, Sammy, he is not it. Whitney is next to recouple and it is of no surprise that she brought back Lockham because she was the other person. Y'all always want to do a madness when I'm recording, man. And I can't even close it because it's so hot. That's Tyreek trying to throw a bomb, a bomb on the village, y'all. Um, yeah, she brought back Lockham because she was single. So of course she needs to secure her place. And she was getting to know Zach for a little bit. Briefly. <laughs> Whitney, welcome back. Hey, hey. And Lockin, welcome to the villa. Hello. hello. Uh, we definitely have a vibe and yeah, really keep liking how it's going and looking forward to what the next steps are for us. This girl said it's giving healed. I feel like that, that was her saying, you know that man, that French man that we don't need to speak about from a while ago, I am paying him no mind. Who is he? I don't even remember his name. Honey, she said on to the next one. Thank you, Lockham. Let's proceed. It's a no brainer that Zach chose to recouple with Molly. But guys, where was the happiness? Where was the excitement? Not a smile cracked on this man's face. I think I'd be an absolute idiot to waste this opportunity because second chances don't come around often. I've decided to recouple. All right, Zach. So good, I'm so happy. I can't explain it, I'm very happy. Zach, is there anything you wanna to say to Katie? Um, I think not right now. If I'm not mistaken, the hue, the contrast, the brightness of red on Zachariah's face just kept getting brighter and brighter. And I'm just like, this man, he, he don't like this girl. And he, uh, he also said he has things to tell Katie, but not right now in the moment. I'm like, why? Why can't you say it in front of everybody? The girl already saw you crack on with Katie in her absence. Why are we keeping secrets now? Let, let's, let's all have a little powwow. Let's all talk about it. I'm pretty sure he would pick Molly over Katie. If he doesn't, I will be gobsmacked. But yeah, I'm like, oh, he is in a rock and a hard place, child. I do not envy Zach whatsoever. Next is Montel. And if you thought I had an issue with Montel before, honey, I have a bigger issue with him now. This man who's just up here taking up space is gonna have the audacity to give a speech that is alluding to the fact that he would go and pick Tink to bring back into the villa just to go and stick with Leah and then lie, bold-faced lie in front of the entire villa. So I have decided to stick. Did any of you have a connection with Montel? Yeah, I didn't think I'd be standing here, to be honest. Okay. Montel did say that he had more in common with me than he did Leah and... Jess, yeah. 
Yeah, the night that we had in bed together wasn't exactly PG, so... It wasn't a very, diff it wasn't a very difficult decision for me. I'll be so real, so... I just don't know how you can move like that, but sick in a couple. Also, nothing happened in the bed? Oh, so you, like a little golden retriever, since you know Leah likes those, didn't run behind Tink trying to kiss her because Tyreek instructed you to? Oh, you did not tell Tink the day after that the only reason why you were feeling away is because you felt bad for Leah because you knew your connection with Tink was stronger than Leah's? Now we're gonna lie. Now we're gonna lie? Montel, please don't give me any more reason to dislike you because, honey, <laughs> he, he really was like, oh, you're yapping. Montel, I would like you to be so for real right now. Be so for real right now because it's not going to look good. You better own your ish. And that's what Leah's... I, Leah, stick to your word because Leah said all I want from Montel is honesty and all he's giving you is lies right now. So I hope that you stick to your words and you cut him loose once you realize he's been lying. Next is Scott. Oh, I don't even know if I could talk about it, guys. Next is Scott, who, as we know, stayed single and loyal. Mm. But Catherine, Catherine did not. Uh, I think it's been, been a shock for me realizing that my, my feelings are probably a little bit further along than when she left. Are you surprised? Yeah. Maybe some of the opinions around the fire pit the other day were aimed at the wrong person, but fuck it, the game's the game. Okay. I'm of two, am I even of two minds? I'm of three minds. I'm of seven minds when it comes to them, okay? On one hand, Imagine I have seven hands. On one hand, I'm just like, well, Scott, unfortunately, you didn't secure things with the girl. You did say in the here and now, we are closed off. And she did agree, because he did ask her. I remember, I really remember this conversation. They had a pink blazer. She agreed, right? Because he asked her, like, it's not just on me. Like, are you with me? And she said, yeah. But he said, here and now. And so they had an agreement that when they are no longer here, nor in the now, the circumstances have changed. You should have been more clear. You should have been more direct. This girl went and explored. I can't even blame her. I wish she didn't because I'm not really a fan of Elam. I can't tell you why. But like Tyreek said before, he was going off of a feeling that Scott is a game player. I'm going off of a feeling that Elam is a game player. Maybe not necessarily game player, but something about him just gives disingenuous. I don't know what it is. I cannot get on the ship. I love that she's being pursued wholeheartedly. I love this for Catherine. This is the first. This is the first person who's come in and said, I'm gung-ho for her. Now, before he came on the show, that's not what he was saying, but I guess we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Um, yeah, so I'm happy for her because she's happy, right? I think some some people might have thought that what Scott said about the fireplace conversation was a dig. I'm sorry, he ate that. He ate that. He ate that. He ate that. And one thing that's been irritating me about what Catherine's been saying about Scott is like any time that he's been worried about what other people think about him, it's been in defense of you and of your relationship. And I can see how, you know, she never asked for somebody to be in a and he was kind of being in a in those situations. But like. He saw how it affected you. He was unbothered, right? And then Catherine started crying because she's like, I don't like this. And so he wanted to confront the situation. I don't know how now this is his fault, but okay. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I love it and I hate it. I love it for Catherine. I hate it for Scott. Not a fan of Elon, but maybe he'll prove me wrong. I don't think he will, but shoot, time will tell. Mitch is next and we know he chooses Abby, no surprise there. He was partnered up with Jess who obviously wanted Sammy. Mm. She came back by herself, yeah. There's always gonna be a bit messy, Mitch. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere. I can't hold that in. Time to retire. Obviously your head got turned, but you know, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Rather you than me. <laughs> <laughs> in a nice way. I don't even know, oh, it would have been too funny if she brought back the guy with the curtain hair. Because it really would have been like, wow double seeing double but yeah i'm just like you know how it's been with sammy why no but mm, no that that is hypocritical of me because i've been saying do things because you want to do them not because of what somebody else is going to do so she wanted to stay true to that man you stay true to that man but the sad part is he has shown us time and time again how ain't shit he is and so to see jess constantly you know, make excuses for the man. I know she doesn't see everything, I'm aware. But it's just sad, you know? I feel like she's seen enough to know that Sammy ain't worth 
the loyalty. He really isn't. And so for her to wish them well, I'm like, okay, I hope this is, this is a true wish them well. But if it's not, and she's having an inkling of getting back with him, I need these girls to start chirping up. The girls in Casa, especially Molly, I'm looking at you. Make yourself useful. You need to talk about how Sammy was moving absolutely mad in Casa Amor. And hopefully that'll shut the door for Jess completely. Side note, this has nothing to do with, with the show, really. But like, did y'all notice Jessica's makeup looked so dark when she was standing up at the fire pit? I was like, whoa, a lot of bronzer. But then when she sat down, it wasn't as dark. I was like, something with the Love Island cameras just be doing people dirty. The the photo, the promo photos that they sent out, people never really look like what they look like on camera or what they look like on Instagram, but shoot me either. Um, yeah, that was just a side note. Let me keep going. Last is Tyreek. And you know they set this man up. Uh, they set him up the way that they were editing Casa the whole time and now they set him up because he's here professing damn near his love for the girl. I'm a changed man. I'm only I, I'm only here for Ella. I didn't even look at these girls not one time. And as we know, Ella came back with Uzi. Never had a girlfriend before. Never had these type of feelings before. So yeah, it did take me a lot, but I thought like the time was right. That I'm ready to stop downplaying my feelings step up and let this person know how strongly I feel about them. How, you like me now? Fuck off. how does that make you feel? Kind of surprised. But I guess you'll never mind, just my turn. Honestly, hope it was worth it, because we're done completely. Ty's here like, I'm ready to be a new man. Problem is, Ella just went and got herself a new one altogether. I don't want to laugh because it was really sad. It was sad. It was sad. You could see this man was plotting 17 different ways to bomb this villa. He was like, I'm tearing it all down. I'm burning it up. Put the arson charges on me right now, preemptively, because I'm going to burn it down. Like, he was pissed. He was pissed. And here's the thing. Categorically, Ella was in the wrong. I've said this the past two episodes. I cannot reiterate any more times. They were closed off. That was an agreement. She knew what closed off meant to her. She then changed the goalpost. That's not fair. That's not fair. And regardless of how you feel about Ty, her moving the goalpost is not fair. At the same time, I was reveling in this. I was reveling in Ty's cracked face. I really was. I really was because you cannot go off acting like an asshole the entire time and then be shocked that I'm gonna choose better for myself. Don't be surprised now. Do not be surprised now. And yes, we all say, but he's been honest, he's been honest, he has been honest. But honesty without care is cruelty. There are plenty of things that I could be honest with anyone about, but sometimes you gotta realize time and place is not the time nor the place. And even if it was, there's a way in which you deliver certain information. And he had always kind of had Ella's feelings as a secondary thought and his own desires first on his mind, right? So unfortunately, even though Ella is in the wrong for how she handled Casa Amor, a part of me is like, well, I'm trying to find the word in English. The people who um, speak my language, Dogo, Whatever that is, it's like gotcha, but it's not like gotcha. It's more like I told you. How do you translate that word? The people who know my language, please translate it in the comments below. Dogo. But yeah, I'm just kind of looking at him like, well, to make matters worse, this man sat up, the, stood up there and said, well, I guess she wasn't mine. It was just my turn. And you expect us to have sympathy? Like, I just, I'm sorry. One thing about me, I understand that he was upset. But one thing about me is the things that somebody says in the heat of frustration and anger are things that I really need to pay attention to. Because somebody's true character is proven when they don't get their way. Everybody acts all great and is on their best behavior when things are going in their direction. But when things take a turn, it is those moments where you decide, do I want to deal with this behavior, with these antics? And I'm sorry, Tyreek with his bruised ego, Tyreek feeling like he lost the game, Tyreek feeling like, well, damn, I should have just went and kissed all the girls. And how he's acting now, to me, if I were Ella, which I'm sorry, thank God I'm not, because I feel like she's going to go back to him anyways. That wouldn't fly with me. I would say, well, thank you for proving my point that I needed to go and find better for myself truly so maya brings out all the other people um from casa and they get to say goodbye but immediately ty separates himself because obviously he's pissed i fucking knew it i can't believe it. I had a feeling bro i'm raging i didn't want it to be over with ty what, what do you think was gonna happen 
I'm a fucking idiot, bruv. So I don't fucking do the feeling stuff, bro. I don't fucking let people in, fam. I don't do it, you. Okay. Let's take a minute, cuz. Take a minute. Please, Tyreek, please. Tyreek, pullies, okay? You cannot be a tyrant in somebody's life and then be shocked that they don't want to deal with that anymore. And yeah, he's like, I don't, this is why I don't do the emotions thing. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is that really? Is that Ella's fault or is it your fault? Ella decided she didn't want to constantly be in this push and pull relationship. She wanted somebody who's all for her. But now that you have decided to change your ways, Ella should just shut up and be okay with it. Like, no, no. And he's like, this is why I don't do the emotions thing. No, you are the reason why you don't do the emotions thing. You put yourself in situations where you end up being an asshole. And then now he's going to be an even worse asshole. If we had a tough time with Tyreek before... I can only imagine how he's going to act now that he is justified in being an ass. Oh, God forbid. So the women, of course, they're trying to comfort their friend. And I'm just like, Whitney and Catherine, is this the message we really want to preach right now? Seeing Ty stood there by himself, knowing that I've hurt him, just, yeah, it's just not nice. Even him acting this way shows he actually cares for you. You've just got to now do the graft and... Yeah, he's not going to fucking forgive me for this shit now. He will be. I'm he so... will. At the end of the day, situations like this happen in here. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. When somebody lashes out and then another person's response is, well, that's just how you know they have strong feelings for you. That's how you know they really care. They're going to come around. Excuse me? It's giving abuse. <laughs> It's giving abuse. It's giving abuse. And to people who think that I'm being facetious or I'm being like, I'm exaggerating, there are plenty of people, some of which I know in my personal life, who believe that when their partner is loud, it's passion. When their partner lays hands on them, it's because they feel strongly. And in as much as they do those big negative reactions they have big positive reactions too and in their minds these women then nullify the bad to say oh but look at all this other stuff that he does clearly he feels for me yeah but the man put his hands on you at one point the man yells at you at one point the man belittles you verbally at one point i'm not saying any of that is happening with ella but the theology that reactions like that equate love for someone uh-uh uh-uh absolutely not uh oof absolutely not and ella even though i am i i'm i'm half on your side and half not on your side this is another reason as to why you do things because you want to do them don't do them because you think somebody else is going to do something so you might as well join along right she's upset now because tyreek actually did stay loyal and so she's like well i thought he was going to well next time you should have done what you wanted to do and i hope in her heart even though she is upset that she messed things up with Tyreek. If she really feels like Uzi is the better person for her, I hope that she leans into that. Now, Uzi has yet to show his ass because we have no evidence that he's going to be any better than Tyreek. We ha literally have no evidence. He's just not Tyreek. He could be worse. But at least she's deciding to leave a toxic situation and to choose something else. Choose something different. Um, did I have any last points? Nope. Yeah, basically Tyreek is saying, I'm done with you. Ella, it looks like she's having regrets. It looks, it looked a little bit like Catherine was having regret, but then his comment kind of put her off a bit. I could see why it put her off. He ate, but I could see why it put her off. I wonder what's going to happen there. I really wanted them to get back together. But I also, I also want her to be in a situation where she feels like, this person is all for me and I love that for me. So I have to love that for her, you know? Elon, please don't embarrass me. Please don't embarrass me because I will root for you if you prove yourself. I really will. Whitney, happy for her. Um, I'm happy for Mitch. <laughs> you got to find somebody who's just as cuckoo as Coco Post as you are. Zach, somebody check on him. Where's the wellness team? Do a wellness check. I don't think he's okay. Yeah, that's it. Katie, I don't know. She's probably going to leave because she's single. Who's single? She's single. Ty's single. Jess is single. Ooh. Is Montel going to tell the truth? I don't know, guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.